My dear parishioners and friends of Exaltation of the Holy Cross Church, Happy Easter to all of you. On this glorious Easter Sunday, as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Our church so beautifully decorated the smell of Easter, the beautiful Easter candle that stands before us now lit, symbolizing the might of the risen Lord in our midst, gives each and every one of us on this Easter Sunday a message of joy, a message of faith, and above all today, a message of hope. And that's what I bring to you as we listen to the scripture readings, the Easter stories of the resurrection. Mary Magdalene and the others ran to the tomb one ran faster than the other. And they all looked into the tomb and found that he was not there. All that was there were the burial cloths. Can you imagine? Can you imagine running and telling this good news? This news of joy, of love, and of hope. But yet fearful because of all of that they experienced before getting to that point of going to the tomb. Easter, of course, gives all of us that message of joy as Christians throughout the entire world, and above all, a message of love that we share with one another, we share with our families, we share with our parish, we share with our community and those we love. It's a message of joy, it's a message of good news, it's a message, above all, of hope. And as Mary Magdala, Simon Peter, the other disciples, as much as they had that joy filled within them, they still had yet, and we hear, of course, in the early days of the Easter season, because, as we know, the Easter season continues for 50 days. Lent is 40 days. The Easter season is for 50 days. And they went and shared the story, but yet they still, in the beginning, were fearful. They still doubted. We'll hear later on about Thomas. They still questioned. They still wondered what it was all about until Jesus himself had to come right in front of them, right in the midst of who they were to proclaim that he was risen, that he was alive, that he was in their midst. In these dark days and challenging days that we are facing during this time of the coronavirus and in the next few weeks, God knows how long, we still are fearful like they were. We still have questions. We still are wondering what it's all about. We still are fearful. But yet, like all of them who endured those same feelings, same questions, same wonderment and fears and everything that went with the story, they still went out and they still told the joy of the good news that Jesus was risen, that he was alive, that he was not in the tomb, only the burial cloths. 
and they went and they ran and they told the story. And we do the same today. On this Easter Sunday, even in the midst of what we are dealing with now, we still run out and we tell the story. We still are filled with joy. We're still filled with happiness. We are still filled with the joy of Easter as we celebrate with each other in our homes. And so as your pastor, I wish all of you, our parishioners and friends, a blessed and happy Easter. May the risen Christ that we celebrate today at Easter and all throughout our lives of faith, may it continue to fill you all with joy, with love, and above all, with peace. Happy Easter. Hang in there. The signs of hope are all around us. The signs of life in this Easter candle that stands before us, new and shining brightly. Creation bursting forth with new life all gives us that sense of joy and that sense of hope that life is with us and we will continue to share it and live it with each other. Happy Easter to all of you.